G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. I thought I would take on the unenviable task of trying to predict the rest of the season. I kind of want to get a feel for what I expect to happen for the top eight. So I kind of want to do this for my own benefit. So why not record it? And I'll just try and predict every single game for the rest of the season, knowing full well it's not going to, I'm not going to get it right. Um, when you consider, you know, what do we average two or three wrong every single week, you compound that and it's probably going to produce a weird result. But nonetheless, it, it's a fun activity and uh, we'll get a bit of a look at what the final is going to look like. I'll predict the finals and uh, see see where we go. See how close West Coast can get to the top eight. So for a bit of background, I have just filmed just the tips, my footy tipping show for this week. So my footy tips are already up in a different video and I'm just gonna start from exactly where I left off, assuming I get all my tips right. And we'll start from round 19 and move all the way through to the finals. So let's have a look. We got a squiggle and that is the current ladder if I get all my tips right for round 18. Now we start off round 19 with Essendon versus Adelaide. We're gonna to have to move through these relatively quickly just to make sure the video doesn't go for a million years. Essendon versus Adelaide. Essendon should be too good for them, you'd think. I think these two teams do produce good games, but I'm going to say Essendon should win as the home team. No Isaac Rankin, remember he's been rubbed out. Essendon should win, we'll go 16 points. GWS versus Gold Coast. GWS's form is hard to predict at the moment, but Gold Coast are shit away, um, forgive me. I'm going to say, these two sides made a gather round, didn't they? And GWS won narrowly. I'll say four goals. St Kilda versus West Coast. This is probably one of West Coast's only winnable games for the rest of the year. And that's only because of the latter position at the moment. Uh, nonetheless, St Kilda just beat Sydney as I'm recording this. And West Coast have, you know, rotted away into being a little fart team again. All right, I'm going to say St Kilda win this. It is winnable for West Coast if they, I don't know, pull their finger out. But I'll say St Kilda by... Tour. It'll be kind of close, I think. 15 points. Hawthorne and Collingwood at the MCG. Oh, this is a hard one, actually. Hawthorne have gotten close to Collingwood, I reckon, the last two times they've met, and I still think they've improved a lot. And Collingwood have fallen away a little. And, you know, as I recall this, they've lost their last two. They do also have Geelong, and I tip Geelong. I don't know. I think I'm going to probably err on the side of going Collingwood because, just because I think maybe Collingwood, having dropped three on the bounce, if I get my tipping right, will possibly, you know, click into a gear thinking their season's on, on the line. It absolutely is. They can still make finals, naturally. So I'll say it'll be another thriller that Collingwood win. They'll win it in typical Collingwood fashion. Geelong versus the Dogs at GMHBA. I feel like the Dogs won there against them not too long ago. So I think it was the final round of last year. So the Bulldogs don't have any fears about this ground, which is, is worth noting. Some teams play this ground well and some teams do not. Geelong is definitely one of those teams that do, although they've lost a few games there over the last... A couple of years, really. Even this year, they lost to Port Adelaide. They lost to GWS. Um, I'm going to think that Geelong is in improved form over the last couple. And the Bulldogs are just unpredictable. I don't think the Bulldogs have been bad. But on their bad days, they have been bad. And their midfield is good. And that might be the problem for the Cats, who um, midfield's not too bad, especially with Dangerfield running through it. But I feel like the Dogs' midfield could get a hold of him. Nonetheless, I'm going to go with the home side here. I'm iffy about it, but Cats by 15. Port Adelaide versus Richmond Adelaide Oval. Port Adelaide at home should be too strong for them, you'd think. Um, Richmond have won there this year, but let's say the power... I think they've I think they've improved in recent form, so I'll go five goals. Brisbane and the Sydney Swans. I feel like the Sydney are okay at the Gabba. I remember that big upset in 2021. But the Lions at the Gabba at the moment is tough. I'll say the home side by 12 points. Fremantle versus Melbourne. Last time these two sides met, Fremantle schooled them by nearly 100 points. Um, and even though this is a home game, I don't expect it to be that big of a margin again. You'd, you'd go with the home side here. I think they should win by four goals. Carlton versus North. Upset potential. Sure, North Melbourne are playing well, but Carlton are a very good side. Um, I don't know. We, we don't know. Um, I'll probably say 30 points Carlton, but that game could go differently. Oh, and then must be off a short break. Carlton then played Port Adelaide. In Melbourne, you'd go you'd go the Blues, wouldn't you? Go go 18 points. Port Adelaide on a bad side. North versus Geelong at Bell Reeve. Ugh. I don't think North play well against Geelong in general. So I'm going to say that even if they're in improved form, this will be a bad day for them. I'll go 40 points to the Cats. Ooh, Metricon. So the last year, the, the Suns beat the Lions, even though the Lions were a very good team. And at home, Gold Coast are currently undefeated. And in fact, I predicted that again this week oh yeah in real life this week because hey guys just a quick note to let you know that this video is brought to you in a paid partnership with BetterHelp. you know since i got back to the uk 
I've been thinking a lot about mental health. Personally, had a lot on my mind and it's got me thinking a lot about how this specific lifestyle that I choose, where I'm very dedicated to making content, etc., right now, the unfortunate byproduct of that is that it's made me feel very socially isolated. And that can be difficult when you have a lot on your mind. And, you know, some people might be able to relate to that. And for others, they might not feel socially isolated as such. They might be surrounded by loved ones, they might be surrounded by friends, but, you know, sometimes people just don't want to feel like a burden if they want to talk to people about the way they're feeling. I think there is a lot to be said for being able to verbalize the way that you're feeling. Sometimes it's not even just about problem solving the issues that you have in your life. Sometimes it's just about getting that negative energy that you have inside of you out of you. This is where therapy in general, but BetterHelp specifically, can come in and add a lot of value to your life. It's basically a platform that matches you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and give helpful, unbiased advice. If you want to check out more info, check out the link in the description of this video and the pinned comment, or go to betterhelp.com forward slash true footy. You'll fill out a questionnaire to assess your specific needs. Then they'll match you with a therapist with years of experience at helping people just like you. And usually you will get matched with a therapist within 48 hours. And then scheduling your sessions is really easy. And you you can do it by a phone call, you can do it by a video chat, whatever is the most convenient for you. It is literally the most convenient way to seek therapy. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can help you today. And if you use my link, like I said, betterhelp.com forward slash true footy, you will enjoy a special discount on your first month as well. Thanks guys, let's get back to the video. I tip them to beat Port. So this could be their first loss of the season at home. And I actually think I'm gonna tip the Lions here. I don't think it's a foregone conclusion. I don't, but I think the Lions, well, they've got a bit of the fear of losing their season in them at the moment. And I will say this is Gold Coast's first home loss of the season, 23 points. Secured versus Essendon. Essendon won this fixture by four points earlier in the year. It was a bit of a surprise at the time, and now it kind of makes perfect sense. Marvel Stadium. Yeah, Saints are capable of an upset, but you'd you tip the Bombers here, wouldn't you? I'd go four goals. I don't think it'll be a belting. I don't think... Well, look at Essendon's percentage. They're not a team that really puts you away and St Kilda can be a good defensive team on the day so I'll say 15 points. Melbourne and the Giants ooh, it has a bit of upset potential you know I feel like if the D's lost this game their season would really derail um, but they'll be at home I think I'm going to go the Giants here I'll go 12 points I do have this thing where I overrate the Giants this year absolutely um, but I think I think they'll surprise a few late in the season. Oh the Western Derby I'd love for another shock derby win but the vibe around both clubs at the moment is in polar opposite directions. So, yeah, Fremantle home derby, they'll win by 38 points. Collingwood and Richmond, Collingwood should win that, you'd think. Uh, again, not a team that really puts teams away, are they? But 35 points. At this SCG, Sydney should win this, you'd think. Could be an upset, but Sydney by four goals. Adelaide versus Hawthorne. Isaac Rankin will still be out for this game. He's probably been their best player this year, just about. So... That is worth noting. Um, Hawthorne, I think I think Hawthorne win that, to be honest. Oh, Adelaide are in better form, but as I'm recording this, it's only been a few weeks of better form. So I'll say I'll say Hawthorne win by 16 points. Doggies and Melbourne at Marvel. Again, probably only one team has a half a sniff of making finals, and even that's dubious at best. I just tipped the Ds to lose to GWS. In this scenario, would they be able to lift themselves for this game? Possibly. Uh, I'm really not showing a lot of faith in Melbourne. I'll, I'll tip them here, actually. I feel bad. The Bulldogs shouldn't be in 13th. It's a weird season. 20 points. West Coast versus Gold Coast. <laughs> so Gold Coast haven't won an away game this year. This is their best chance. Um, well, for the rem remainder of the year, for sure. And the last couple of times they've come to Perth, I think they've beaten us. But, you know, we were in those games, we were injury depleted. So this might be West Coast's last winnable game for the year. I think I might gift them one because I think they'll win one. But as I'm looking at it, I'm sure all the neutrals are thinking, nah, Gold Coast to win that. Um, I'll say West Coast win their final game of the year by eight points. North Melbourne versus Richmond. I think North Melbourne's improvement give them favoritism and Richmond aren't great at Marvel anyway, are they? So 26 points to the North. Geelong and Adelaide. I feel like Adelaide nearly won um, at this ground last year. But again, Geelong were poor last year and they're not poor anymore. Um, again, I think Rankin will still be out. If he's if he's held out for four games, that will mean he's not going to play in this game either, is he? So I'll say the Cats win by 26 points. Collingwood versus Carlton. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is tricky. This is tricky. Carlton are better at the moment. Collingwood are a little bit more shaky, but on their day, they're still outstanding, right? And in a big occasion like this, Collingwood might just click into gear. Oh. oh, God, this is a tricky one. 
I've given them the win over Hawthorne. Do I do it again? I think I might. I think I might get... Collingwood will just frustrate everyone and, you know, keep their season alive with a four-point win. Port Adelaide versus the Swans at Adelaide Oval. Um, Sydney are okay in Adelaide, aren't they? Yeah, provided they don't have a form slump, though, they should win this. 13 points. GWS versus Hawthorne at Marnica. Ugh. Again, a tricky one. Hawthorne beat them earlier this year, but that was in Tassie. It really depends what kind of version we're getting of GWS, doesn't it? I think... Oh, it's iffy. Oh, this might be the hardest one I've had to tip so far. Let's say the Giants. I think Hawthorne might run out of steam. They're a young side. Go Giants. Oh, this is an even trickier one. MCG, Essendon versus Fremantle. Probably battling for that last top four spot. This is a good game. This will be like, wow. Nothing really separates. Well, percentage separates them. And it's a home game for Essendon. I think they've been pretty good this year. I don't think they've met... At, at, in Perth earlier this year. Fremantle, maybe, maybe. Oh, it's tricky. I will say Essendon, but in real life, my gut might be saying Fremantle. I'll go Essendon, eight points. St Kilda versus Brisbane at Marvel. I think Brisbane should get away with the four points there. Sydney versus Collingwood. Oh, I'll go Sydney by four goals. I'm tipping fairly close margins, actually. Brisbane versus GWS. Again, GWS could beat them at the Gabba. Maybe, but I think I've probably been generous enough with the Giants. Uh, north over West Coast. Again, like this is in the future, so it's it's hard to forecast form lines for these two teams. I think regardless, though, the Tasmania factor makes me not think West Coast are a chance. Um, the form lines could be different in however many weeks this is away, but I'll tip, I'll tip North there. Looks like they'll stay slightly behind West Coast on percentage on that result. Fremantle versus Geelong. Ooh. Ooh, I feel like Geelong play Fremantle well in Perth, but if it's a gym HBO, Fremantle seem to beat them. That's a tricky one. Um, oh, I'll say Fremantle respond. I, I made them lose to Essendon. Maybe they'll get this one back. Essendon versus Gold Coast. I think Essendon should win that one. D's and Port Adelaide. Okay, so we've got the D's pro- possibly just about out of finals contention. They really need to win this. Port Adelaide, if they win this, will go into the eight. Oh, man, that's a tricky one. I think I tipped Port and Melbourne to finish 9th and 10th this year at the start of the year, so hopefully that plays out so I look less like a nuffy. But at home, I'll go the Ds. I don't really trust the power at the MCG like to be consistent. I don't know. Maybe that's harsh. Carlton versus Hawthorne. Um, Carlton, yeah, the five goals. Richmond versus St. Kilda. This might be one of Richmond's last winnable games. So they had that North game. They had St. Kilda, and I think, wasn't this game like pretty close earlier this year? Nonetheless, tip the Saints. Adelaide versus the Western Bulldogs at Adelaide Oval. Tricky one. The Bulldogs were quite poor against the power at this ground. Adelaide have improved. Isaac Rankin will be back by this game. Uh, both. It's, it's also tr- uh, tricky to anticipate how teams are going to go once their season's over. Adelaide have probably been in that position for a while. The Bulldogs are out of finals contention as it currently stands on this live ladder. So how does this play out? Does this play out with, you know, is, is beverage gone? Like, who knows? So many moving parts to this. I think the Bulldogs have been a better side, but I might tip the home side here. And I, again, I feel a bit gross about the Bulldogs being 13th with eight wins. I feel like they're better than that. Essendon versus Sydney is generally a good game. Oh my God, it's the top two. <laughs> wow, look at Essendon go. Now I have to make them lose. Now I'd probably tip Sydney anyway in that instance. Gold Coast versus Melbourne. Melbourne in touch with the eight. They are in touch with the eight, but this is at home. So the Gold Coast Suns, do the Suns hold on for their 10th win, which will equal their best ever season? They do. GWS versus Fremantle at this ground. Ooh, I feel like Fremantle play the Giants well as well. I feel like they do. I'm going to tip Fremantle in that one. 21 points. Grand final replay in round 23. The Lions might exact some revenge. Four-point victory. That'll be a very big headline when that happens. St. Kilda versus Geelong. Geelong probably win that. That was close at the GMH Bay earlier this year. It's hard to anticipate exactly how Geelong is going to play out this season, but 22 points. The showdown. Ugh. So we got Port Adelaide in 10th. Still in touch with finals. Just. Barely. Uh, we got the Crows out of finals contention. However, I think the Crows have won all three of the last showdowns whilst being the underdog. Surely the power get one up here. Surely they do. Let's go the power by 18 points. And where does that put them? In 9th. 
Oh, by 0.8%. Wow. The Bulldogs, oh, you'd think they beat North, I think. Hawthorne should beat Richmond, 30 points. Oh, God, Carlton by 10 goals. Brisbane over Essendon, 20 points. Oh, that knocks Essendon right out of the four. That's painful. But 15 wins, wow. Teams have won premierships with 15 wins. I think Richmond won one. The Bulldogs won one. Um, just off the top of my head, from third and the seventh, respectively. Carlton, too good for St. Kilda, 36 points. Oh, my God. I've run out of room. 89 points, Geelong over West Coast. Uh, in Tassie, North lose to Hawthorne. Sorry. Oh, but look at the bottom three there. I've got <laughs> West Coast massive loss at GMHBA. North go ahead of West Coast. Wow. And that was with me generously giving us the Gold Coast win. Melbourne versus Collingwood. This is the final round of the year. Collingwood need to, if they win, they're in. If Melbourne win, they have to win by like five goals. Let, let's just test something. Let's say Melbourne win by 50 points. They'd go ahead oh, comfortably. So maybe it's like, is it 20, 30 points? 30 points, they still go in. Okay. Whoops. Let's go back to Melbourne here. What do I actually think is going to happen here? I think Collingwood would win. Three points. Sorry, I've lost a lot of faith in Melbourne. Like, being up on West Coast doesn't really give me <laughs> any data to work with there. Richmond and the Suns. Ugh. There would be some sort of irony if Gold Coast get their first away win at the MCG against Richmond. Mm. Let's say Richmond get a consolation win at the end of the year. Sydney versus Adelaide. Sydney should win that. Bulldogs. So this is at Mars or Ballarat or whatever it's called now. And Bulldogs beat them earlier this year in Sydney. Pfft, different form lines now. Different things to play for. Feel like GWS beat them last year coming back from five goals down. I'm going to say the Bulldogs in this one, actually. I don't have the same faith in GWS as, a, as what we saw last year. I'm all over the place with the Giants. I'm, I'm just feeling the dogs there. I think this is the final game of the round and uh, final game of the season, in fact. And Fremantle should beat Port Adelaide. They should by 19 points to claim fourth spot. Now, that's a great end to the season. So what do we got? Sydney, Carlton, Brisbane, Fremantle, Geelong, Essendon, the Giants make it in seventh, and Collingwood over Port Adelaide and Melbourne. So you feel like you feel like these top six, I feel comfortable will make it. The Giants, I feel like will make it naturally. And then you've really only got one of Collingwood, Port Adelaide, and Melbourne after that, and then Hawthorne. So it's tight. Like the Bulldogs down in 12th, Gold Coast in 13th. I feel like both of those teams are better than that. Um, and of course, West Coast claiming pick two. That's a real win for us and North Melbourne. Moving up to their highest ladder position in five years, I reckon, if that's the case. So well done to them. Adelaide finishing in the bottom four. So let's do some finals. So this is tough. Sydney versus Fremantle. I, I know Fremantle has beaten them the last two occasions in Sydney, but I think in finals it'll be different. And we are talking about the barest of margins here. I'll say Sydney win that. Um, Geelong versus Collingwood. Ooh, I'm going to say Collingwood just to ruffle some feathers. We got Essendon versus GWS. Essendon, would they win their first final in 20 years? Yes. Carlton versus Brisbane. Carlton win that at home. So what do we got here? We have got Fremantle versus Collingwood in Perth. This was a draw earlier this year. I'll say Fremantle win. And then we got Brisbane and Essendon at the Gabba. The more mature side wins. Essendon have had a great season. They'll bow out in the semifinals. Sydney versus Brisbane. This is a great prelim. Oh, I could see an upset happening here. I could see an upset, but I'm not brave enough to tip it. Carlton versus Freeman at the MCG. Could Fremantle knock off the Blues at the MCG in the prelim? They could. They actually could. Uh, but I do think Fre Carlton are stronger than Fremantle, with all due respect. And they've at least been there. I know Fremantle's got a little bit of finals experience now. Oh. Again, we're hypothesizing about a situation that is not even real, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll say the Blues win that, and we'll get our grand final of Sydney versus Carlton. Now, who wins? Grand final day, MCG, Sydney versus Carlton. They are the top two teams at the moment. Sydney have been better. I, I'll say Sydney. A big shock, but that is the way I see this season playing out. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I can't wait for all the hate. Last time I did this, I got so much unmitigated hate but it doesn't matter I, uh, I enjoyed doing this i hope you enjoyed this fun experience um and i will just thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers